Good morning. Here is Avraham from StayWeb.com, your host. Thanks for coming. Today we have workspaces. Workspaces are a set of panels of windows that Adobe decided that they are fit for a specific use, purpose, that Flash is being used for. So if you're using Flash for animating or for drawing or for programming, for debugging, they have different types of workspaces. Let's take a look at them. Okay, the first workspace we'll be taking a look at, Animator. Makes a lot of sense, comes with a lot of panels, timeline. Animators have to have, by definition, a timeline. Tools, properties, library, if you want to reuse items, library must be there. Motion presets, so you have a different type of eases. Uh, Animator is a great workspace, makes a lot of sense, well designed, well configured and the absences see um, animators they don't need a lot of programming actions are not there let's take a look at classic another one that I like a lot it's uh, only three panels only three windows the timeline the tools and the properties anything additional always ask yourself and that's the classic makes a lot of sense debugging also very simple to understand and very simple to use they come with the um, uh, error messages and the output window no need for timeline no need for properties no need for tools this is the debug workspace also makes a lot of sense also very easy to understand designer if you want to draw uh, uh, note that the designer does come with a floating uh, action panel you can always maximize and minimize uh, but makes a lot of sense as well. You can always float, you can always talk. Uh, that's the designer uh, workspace. Now my real my real uh, um, mystery, I cannot really understand the developer does not come with actions. It comes tools, a library, properties, everything that you suppose, but the developer has a program. I mean by default, you should come with action, small notepad window we program uh, action script at. So it's always possible to drag and drop, as you see, a, a little line shows, and once it's in place, it docks. So it sticks at the very place. Now, this would be my uh, uh, workspace. Uh, I can always create uh, my own workspace, and I can name it, and it shows on the menu together with the uh, other workspaces that come from Adobe. There we go. Say web workspace. And needless to say, like anything else, you can always manage, delete, rename, and that's what we'll be doing now. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for visiting. Thank you guys for uh, uh, watching my tutorial. And this is Abraham. He, we have uh, a website, and you can always post your doubts, questions, requests, and remarks time to delete my workspace and see you next tutorial.